Grace and mercy and peace belong to you, from God our Father, and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. One brick might not be able to do very much. One brick might not seem to be worth very much. Perhaps it can be a paperweight or a doorstop or it can break a window if thrown in anger. But a brick all by itself, many would look at that and say, not a lot of value. But when this brick is bound together with other bricks under a master builder to create a foundation and a building, then magnificent things begin to take place. Satan has as his goal all the time to try to separate you and me and isolate you and me so that we begin to think ourselves of ourselves simply as lonely, isolated, individual, single bricks. Because if he can get us isolated and separated and getting us to feel alone, then he can work on us at his leisure he can discourage us, he can whisper into our ear, he can fill our field of vision with all the things that are going wrong in the world, all the things that discourage us in our individual lives, and slowly but surely separate us from fellow believers and separate us from our relationship with our Savior. But Christ has come. And he has taken you and me. And even though we are worse by nature, you and I are worse than bricks, we, we deserve only his abandonment and his contempt and his condemnation because of our, of our brokenness and our sinfulness. And yet Jesus came, and through his perfect life in our place and his suffering and death on the cross, he washed us clean and covered us in his holiness and then through his holy spirit brought us to faith in him so that through him through faith in him we stand forgiven and and as he is doing that he he takes you and me and he begins to bind us together into his spiritual house and suddenly you and i are part of something far far bigger than our lonely lonesome selves we're part of his church we are part of what he uses to shine light in this world of darkness. And suddenly, you and I have not only purpose, but the greatest purpose there is in the entire universe, to declare the praises of him who called us out of darkness into his wonderful light, Yes, there can be times when we are tempted to feel separated or even to drift away and to be separated from our fellow believers and our Savior. Thank the Lord Jesus that he continually calls us to repentance. He calls us back. He calls us home, assuring us all over again of his forgiveness and re-cementing us by the power of his gospel so that we remember that we are part of something great. We are his church. The word of God from 1 Peter chapter 2. I will read verses 4 through 6 and then verses 9 and 10. As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by men, but chosen by God and precious to him. You also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. 
For in Scripture it says, See, I lay a stone in Zion, a chosen and precious cornerstone, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. We pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.